Whether you live in an old house or a new apartment, it can be shocking to realize just how many hidden toxins are around us. Her new book, Supernatural Home, Beth Greer talks about dangers and what you can do to improve your health, home, and the planet one room at a time. Beth is an award-winning journalist and holistic health advocate and joins me now on the show. Beth, thank you for being here. Great to be here. Uh, this is very surprising stuff. Everyday items that you don't necessarily think would be hazardous to your health. That's true. You know, uh, people shop every day and and most people in my research I found that most people are clueless about mm -hmm. what's going on in their in their products that can cause allergies asthma fatigue mm -hmm. all kinds of other health problems and how did you get started in this well about 10 years ago I was diagnosed with a giant tumor in my chest that I that would do it yeah <laughs> that would but change your life I eliminated it without drugs or surgery by just changing my lifestyle and made small but radical lifestyle shifts really? and I'm going to show you now um, how to read labels to, to look and see how to stay healthy and keep your yes, family let's healthy. Yes, get right to it. Okay, so bread. Um, most people, you know, you see the bread trucks coming every day delivering fresh bread and you think, well, maybe um, it should have a shelf life of what? What would you a say? A week max maybe? Bread? I don't know. Well, I would assume it would get moldy. What would I, what would you say if I told you this bread was two months old? <laughs> I'd be looking for the mold on yes, it, right? right? No, and so it has something called calcium propionate in it, and um, this is a preservative, an additive, and so when they've given this to laboratory animals, they cause ADHD behavior. Oh, wow. So you don't want to be giving that to your kids, though? Not at all, no. Now, here's a cereal that we give to our kids very often, marshmallow. Now, if you look at the ingredient label, it's marshmallow is the number one ingredient, which is not great. Must be healthy for the little ones. Right, but it also has five different synthetic colors in here. And coloring, artificial colors are banned in Europe, but they're sold here in America. They're banned there because they cause um, behavioral problems. We so, haven't gotten on that bandwagon yet? Not yeah. at all. Okay. No. So, so you have to do your own research. Yes, read the label, look for, look for uh, cereals without any colorings or preservatives or additives. Okay. So now um, this is what goes in us, so what goes on us now we have to pay attention to. And so deodorant would be, you know. That's uh, important. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Okay, so this is a particularly popular deodorant, it's the one I grew up with. If you look at the label, there's just one ingredient on it. Yes. But then, you know, really sneaky, the, you peel it back, there are all the other ingredients in here, including the word fragrance. Okay. And manufacturers, it's a catch word, manufacturers use the word fragrance, it can contain up to a hundred different synthetic chemicals. Wow, how misleading that is. Right. So what I do, which is really great, is just take a plain old baking soda. Okay. And I put it in a salt shaker, and I just sprinkle it. Well, you smell lovely, Beth, so it seems to be working. Right. When I travel, I just use it in a little glass jar. Okay. It's great. What were some of the biggest changes you made when you were diagnosed? Well, I did, I looked at first at my food, because that's the most important thing, mm -hmm. and the most thing that we have control over. So I did something pretty radical, and I ate food without any labels whatsoever. Really? So yes. vegetables? Vegetables, type of fruits, thing. right. Lots of vegetable juices. How and I noticed that within just the three days, the pain that I was in was starting to go away, and I knew I was on the right track. Wow. So then yes. you've kind of uh, moved on to inside your house now, right? Right. So inside our house, a very popular household cleaner, uh, disinfectant. But if you look on the back the label, it says precautionary statements, hazards to humans and domestic animals. Oh. So why would we, you know, we're going to be breathing this in sure. and uh, spraying it on countertops. Our children are going to be licking it. So what I do, which is really easy and simple, is I fill up two spray cans, one with vinegar, white vinegar, and one with hydrogen peroxide. And it still gets the job done? 99.9%. <laughs> Um, e. coli, salmonella, bacteria, just like that. And you can add a little lemon essential oil mm -hmm. and it's fantastic. It Very good and it's much great. healthier. Much healthier, non-toxic, right. And finally, uh, a lot of people love to use scented candles mm -hmm. for their rooms, but you know, again, pay attention. Look at these labels. It'll say peel here and then when you peel it back, lists all kinds of precautionary statements and it's got tons of, of synthetic chemicals. And you're breathing in that in. Absolutely. Okay. And so what's lovely, you know, to look for is um, this is just called love and it's rose and jasmine and it's made from hundred percent essential oils. It's very relaxing. Oh nice? it even smells better yeah. than and at the That's farmers great. market you can find I find some wonderful beeswax candles that burn really beautifully and non toxic again. Very mm -hmm. nice. Good yeah. suggestions. Um, and I want to talk about something you say in the book. You call it a body burden. Yes. What, explain that to us. Well, because all of these chemicals add up. 
and they create a burden in our bodies and it's hard on the liver. Okay. And so we're walking around with all these chemicals and it's so easy. And in my book, Supernatural Home, I give you simple suggestions on ways to eliminate our body burden and just show you the best products to use for your what goes in us, what sure. goes on us and surrounds us. Now we didn't talk about chapstick, but we probably should because there are many chapstick addicts out there. That's true. And so if you look at your chapstick, um, you'll see very often it'll, it'll have parabens in it. Now parabens are preservatives that they add to this and they've been found in actually breast cancer tumors. So you don't want to be smothering that on your lips. Absolutely <laughs> not. It's not a good idea. So look for an all natural one. You know, this one has 100% organic um, beeswax and lavender oil and um, olive oil. And it smells great, it works just as well. And non-toxic, isn't that nice? Very nice, very nice. Yes. And you said the parabens were found in breast cancer itself. Tumor. In tumors. In tumors, yes. So, so there, a lot of the companies are trying to um, do away with parabens. But um, <clears throat> so you could still find them. You can still find <laughs> and them. And you want to avoid them. I, absolutely. All right, Beth, let me ask you, where can we find yeah. your book? OK, you can find it on my website, Supernatural Home or BethGreer.com. Um, it's on Amazon as well. And you can open it up anywhere mm -hmm. and, and find tips you know for the bedroom I go room by room what Dude. to do in the kitchen the bedroom so a lot of people just don't know where to get started so I have to say I was flipping through it this morning not to cut you off but mm -hmm. lipstick that was so surprising uh, yes yes uh -huh. lipstick contains lead very often so it's so important to look for natural natural products natural mm -hmm. lipsticks very and good. you know pick one thing mm -hmm. if you feel kind of overwhelmed by all this stuff Pick one thing, pick a lipstick, pick yeah. your toothpaste, or pick a deodorant to start, start with. Start gradually. Start gradually. Start with uh, an organic milk, for example, because that contains so many um, growth hormones and mm -hmm. pesticides. So, Very good. Yeah. Beth, you thank go. you so much. The name of the book again is? is Supernatural Home. All right. There it is. We'll find it. Thanks okay. so much for thank being you. here. Don't go anywhere. More